everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and I'm here with a new unboxing ish <laughs> thing because uh, I'm taking a look at Friedman Finnison's Cantaloupe, a playable thriller by Lookout Games. Um, I'm not sure how to call this game. This is. Um, how, how, how do I call this game actually? This is called a point and click adventure board game kind of so it's, it's based on point and click adventure video games and apparently this simulates that a little bit and it comes in this binder uh, this is a binder actually and um, as you can see it's cantaloupe breaking to prison hook carpenter is a charismatic and resourceful crook even though he's one of the best of his kind 10 years ago he got tricked and went undercover now he's back on Cantaloupe Island and he's all out for revenge. But he needs a team for his plan. Thing is, the best hacker in town is doing time. For Hook, that's a minor inconvenience at best. He just needs to break into prison. So this is an interactive adventure series. Well, this is part one. I'm not sure if it says part one somewhere, but actually this is part one, book one, Breaking into Prison. So it's a series by Lookout Games. It's a story game in a book format. So it's like a computer point and click adventure it feels it tells a non-linear story of full quirky characters useful useless items and tough riddles explore the different locations collect and combine items talk to different characters and find out how the story unfolds so this is ages 16 plus so it's a playable thriller for ages 16 and up i haven't played this yet but uh, apparently there is some more adult content in the game even though it looks a little bit like a comic. You can play this solo or with friends. You can choose how many players you want to play this um, and probably divide the work, how, who reads stuff and all that stuff. And it's about five to eight hours of fun. Um, I think, I assume they mean with book one. And I guess if you play the complete story, it goes about 20 hours maybe um, but I think this is the first one that uh, the only one that's been released so far but there so this is, will be a trilogy if I'm not mistaken so I'm not going to show you too much because well there are spoilers in here because it's an adventure now first uh, normally when I play games I, I go online I look up the rules and I when I order it I've ordered a game even before I get it I read the rules online this doesn't have any rules not the rule book anyway because it tells you what to do. So let's see what you can see. And these are not spoilers because it's the first thing you see when you open this, of course. But it has some boxes in here with numbers. I assume these are cards. I don't know. Uh, there is a spot here where you can put things in here. Maybe some helpful information. Um, I'm not sure what's in here, but as you can see, there are a bunch of things in here. Uh, there is this thing where the, the red decoder thingy that you might know from older games that you can see hidden messages on uh, I assume this is in here I assume these three things are in here uh, this kind of a postcard uh, that red thing and uh, some kind of decoding thing or maybe a puzzle I don't know but here we have the first page with some more information and I guess you just go to the first part and you can pause you can try to read this uh, that's your own decision um, but it says here breaking to prison it tells again about the point and click adventures how it works the components so we have a book we have a double-sided poster a deck of 60 cards a postcard a trigger sheet and a decoder and then it says do not look at any part of this book the deck of cards and any other components unless explicitly instructed to so there you go. Uh, I cannot show you more. You can see uh, it has some dividers here for parts where you're can, gonna go. I'm not sure if these are chapters or anything. I don't know. Um, so, um, well, but I'm going to read the prologue. It's just to give you some fluff. So that's not a spoiler because you can see, see for yourself. So you check the engine and brake lights twice before you left. Old habits die hard. Even now, you catch yourself scanning the sides of the streets and you have to remind yourself to breathe. Being outside still feels strange, but it was time. You couldn't just, just sit there and take it anymore. Your knuckles widen around the steering wheel of your white sprinter as a sign comes up on the right. Cantaloupe, home of white industries. Population, 50 
3052. You're here. No way back now. In an effort to calm yourself down, you turn up California Dreaming and roll down a window to breathe in the air. Oh, how have you missed this place? There you go. That's that's the introduction, the prologue. I'm not going to tell you more, but it also has a tutorial. So I want to mention that. So it says, sorry to interrupt, but before you can dive right into the story, you should learn a few things about how to play this game. You see, most text in this book is encrypted, so you cannot read it unless you use the decoder. And as you can see, it has the first uh, decoded stuff here, which I'm not going to show you. There you go. And that's how it goes. It has some information, how to use items, how to interact with simple objects, with complex objects, combining items with, co with a complex object and stuff like that. And I don't think I'm going to go very much farther interacting with items, where to find codes, triggers, generating codes from numbers and all that stuff. And I think that's where I'm going to end because that was already spoiler area. All right, so that's the game folks. So it has, Apparently, it is really like a click and point adventure. I'm looking forward to dive into this adventure and see what it, where it brings me. And if I like it, then I will not be able to. Well, I will have to, but I will look uh, forward to seeing the next parts being released. So that's it, folks. Cantaloupe, a playable thriller, part one, book one, breaking into prison for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to thumbs up if you want to see more in the future. Well, subscribe if you didn't already. And well, thanks again and see you all next time. See you soon. Bye bye.